If you're a print-on-demand seller on Etsy and have been wondering how to create patterned text like this, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you examples of this trending design style and how you can create your own version using Canva and Photoshop. Let's jump in. To begin, I wanted to show you some specific examples of the design style I'm talking about. And with Mother's Day right around the corner, I'm filming this in early February, I thought it would be appropriate to show you some mama t-shirts that use this design technique. So we have here a mama shirt with checkers on the inside of the letters, which is a really popular option, this checkered look. We have another cute design here with mama with a heart pattern on the inside. And another really cute design that's quite trendy right now is this blue toile design inside of letters. So how do these designers achieve this? Sometimes you can buy text or fonts with patterns inside them already on places like Creative Market and Creative Fabrica. You can even find some pattern text on Canva. But what if you had a specific pattern that you wanted to put into text that you can't find anywhere. Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do next. The first thing we'll need to do is to decide which pattern we want to have inside of our text. So here I am on Canva. I do have a pro plan, but I believe even with a free plan, you can get some pretty great results for this project. So the first thing we'll do here is head up to elements and because it's Mother's Day, I think a floral pattern would be nice. So we'll type that in and then we'll head over to the graphics section. And let's filter this for the free assets just to see what we have here. Some really pretty options available in the free plan, as you can see. Tons of really beautiful floral patterns here. There's one up at the top that caught my eye. This floral pattern right here. Let's enlarge this. Oh, it's quite nice. It has this kind of lace look to it. So I think we'll go ahead and use that one. So what you can do is you can size this to the size of your document as is, just how I did now. But what if you wanted this pattern to be a little bit smaller so you can get more flowers inside of your text, if you know what I mean? Um, so I'll show you how to do that. A lot of these patterns here on Canva are built to be seamless patterns. So meaning that if you copy and paste them and move them side by side, they end up creating a larger seamless pattern. So I've moved this up to the top left corner and then I'm gonna hit Command C and Command V to copy and paste it. And then I'm gonna move it right next door here. And as you can see, it's created this nice seamless patterns. The edges match up to each other. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm going to select both of these, hit Command C and Command V. And then I'm gonna move that new block down of both squares. And there we have, again, a really nice seamless pattern building. I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm just gonna hit Command V this time because we have those two selected already and move it down. Lovely. And then what I can do is select all of them and size them up to fit inside the square a little bit better. And there you have it the same pattern, but sized down quite a bit, which is something you'll probably want to consider because something like this might be, it'll just be probably a little bit more attractive inside of our text and you'll see what I mean as we move forward. So now what we want to do, I'm going to use the second page here, is download it. So first I'm going to label our file here. So I'm just going to call this floral pattern And then I'm going to hit the share button up here, click download, and we're going to choose the PNG. And we're going to select the page we want, which is page two, hit done. And we don't 
need a transparent background or any of these others ticked off, so we'll just hit download. Now that we have our floral pattern downloaded, we want to add it to our text. So what we're going to do is add a new page to our design, and then we're going to come over to the apps menu on Canva here. So we'll click on that. And what we're looking for is an app called Type Cutout. So we'll type that in the search menu. And what we're looking for is this one right here with the blue background. So we'll click on that. And that brings us into our Type Cutout window. So as you can see, we have some text here with a nice pattern behind it. We have this area here where we can change what the text says. So because we're doing a mama shirt, I'm going to type in mama. And there you can see it's changed the text to say mama. I'm going to next choose a font. The font search on this particular app is a bit tricky. You can't search by type of font as in if say if you wanted like a script font or a romantic font or something like that you can't really do that you really just have to scroll through the hundreds and hundreds of fonts available but because I knew I was looking for this kind of varsity type font I did find one called freshman one two three or just freshman so I've clicked on that and then I'll head back to the previous window and there you can see it's changed the font to be that freshman font. Now what we want to do is change the image inside of the text to be our floral design that we made. So we're going to click on change image here and we're going to click on choose file. Brings us to our download folder so I'll choose our floral design and boom, there you have it. It has changed the inside of the text to be our beautiful pink or red floral pattern. You can also change the position of the text using this button. You can rotate it and you can also scale it. So that'd be fun to play around with those options. But for now, I'm just going to add this design to our page three here. So I'll click add to design. And there we have it inside of our design. So it's a little hard to see with the white background, so I'm just going to change that to black as well and then center it. Unfortunately, with the Type Cutout app, you can't add an arch to the text or do some other effects that you would be able to do with normal text. So there is a bit of limitations with this app. But what you can do is add an outline to the text. So to do that, we'll have the text selected here and we'll come up to edit and then we'll come down to shadows and we'll choose outline. We'll click on that and then we can change the color of the outline here. So we'll click on that and let's choose a nice pink color for that. And as you can see, it's quite a thick outline, so we might want to downsize the size of the outline a little bit so we can actually see the cutouts in the A's a little bit better. So there you go. You can play around with different colors of the outline. I kind of liked that first pinky color we had, so we'll stick with that. And there you have it. So what you can do from here is share the file or download it. So we'll hit share, click on download. And then for this, you would want to choose a transparent background. So click on that, choose the current page, which is page three here. So that selects just this page and then hit down done and then download. And that will give you a nice transparent background version of this file that, that you can go ahead and place on your t-shirts, your tote bags, whichever product you're wanting this on. Now that we've completed our Canva version of this process, let's go ahead and do our Photoshop version. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add a new page to our design. I'm going to change the background color back to white here. And then we want to add 
some text here. So we'll come up and we'll choose our text option. We'll click on heading. We'll size that up quite a bit. And then we'll type in our mama word here. And then we wanna change this font and a nice varsity version with a nice thick, bold look to it, which is something you probably want to look for for this process. You don't want a thin, spindly little font. So now that I have chosen that font and placed it, what I wanna do next is take advantage of the curved effect that Canva offers us to get that kind of curved varsity look. So I've clicked on the curve and then I'm going to change the amount of the curve to be a little less intense. I think that looks pretty good. So again, we'll make sure this is centered in our design and I'm happy with that. So next we will download this and place it in Photoshop. So we'll come up to here to share, click download. We want to make sure this has a transparent background in this case and we want to make sure our only our current page is selected and then we'll hit download. And then we'll head over to Photoshop to do the next part of the process. So here we are in Photoshop. I'm creating a new document. I want to size it the same size as our original design which was 4500 by 4500 pixels and our resolution, probably 300 is probably a bit of an overkill, but we want a nice large file size. So we'll stick with that and we'll hit create. Now we want to bring in our mama font. So I will drag that in from our downloads folder. And there we go. We'll click return or enter. And now we also want to bring in our floral pattern. So again, we'll go to our downloads folder and drag that in. So how do we get this floral pattern to be inside of our text? What we wanna do is make sure our pattern layer is selected in the layers menu here. And then what we can do is hit the option key and once you see that little arrow with a box beside it, you can click on that. And boom, there we have our pattern nicely tucked inside of our mama text. I'm going to change the background color so we can see this a little bit better. So there you go. We can see our lovely lacy floral pattern inside of the text here. So Similarly to Canva, we can add an outline now to this font or this text. So how do we do that? We want to click on the text layer and then we want to come here to effects and choose stroke. And as you can see, it's added a stroke to our text here. You can change the color. First of all, let's do that. So we have something that flows a bit better with our design, a nice pink color. Again, I think is really nice. Maybe a little bit lighter. That looks pretty good. So we'll click OK now that we've chosen our color. We can change the placement of the stroke. It's set to center right now. If we hit outside, you can see it goes to the outside of the text. If we click inside, it goes to the inside of the text. I think center is a nice kind of middle ground here. And then we can change the size of the stroke as well. So I'm gonna size it down a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. You can also change the blend mode, but we won't worry about that for now. We're just looking for a simple outline. So now we'll click OK, and there we have our font outlined. Now what if we wanted to change the color of the pattern inside of our text? Photoshop gives us the ability to do that. So what we want to do is click on our floral pattern layer, and then come down to the effects menu here, click on that, and choose color overlay. That brings up this new window. And what you want to do is from the blend mode menu here, 
is choose color as the option. You can see it's got tons of different options, but for our purposes, we want to choose color. And then we can click on that little color square and choose pretty much any color we want. Green looks cute, more of a bright purple, a light purple, but I kind of like the blue option, that kind of light blue I think works really well with this design. So we'll click on OK, and then you can change the opacity of that overlay, but I think to really truly change the color, you probably want it up at 100%. So now that we're happy with that, we can click OK. And then of course our stroke no longer matches our design. So we probably wanna change that to a blue color as well. So we'll come down here to the text layer and we'll double click on the stroke right there. That brings us into this window, which gives us the ability to change the stroke color. If we want it to match the, the new blue that we've got, we can just bring our color picker right over and choose that. We might want to make it a little bit darker than the inside of the pattern, so let's do that. And then we'll click OK. And now that we're happy with that, we can click OK again. And there we have it. There's one other cool thing I want to show you how to do here in Photoshop that changes the look of this design a little bit. What if we wanted our mama text to be more elongated to fill up more of the page here. We can do that by clicking on our text layer here. I should have changed the name of this layer to say text, but you'll know from looking at the little icon here that it's the text layer. So we wanna have that clicked and selected. And then we wanna come up here to the edit menu and we wanna choose transform. Another menu will come up to the side here and we want to click distort. That will bring up this transformation box and what we can do then is drag up on the top and bottom and as you can see now our mama text is elongated so it's not quite as short and stout if you know what I mean. So that's a really cool thing so we'll make sure that's placed and we'll hit enter or return. And there you go, we have an elongated version of our design here. The other thing I wanted to show you was the ability to move the floral pattern around inside of our text to kind of choose the perfect placement. How we do that is we click on the floral pattern layer here, make sure we have the move tool selected up at the top on the left menu. And then we'll just click inside of our pattern. And as you can see, we can move it around and see which placement works best for our design. I think that's kind of nice because we have that big flower really visible inside the M here and the rest of the letters look really nice as well. So now that we're happy with our new blue version of the design, we can go ahead and export that. What we wanna do first is get rid of our background. So we'll come down here and click on that eye icon in the background. And as you can see, it's given us our nice transparent checkerboard background, which is what we want. And then we'll come up to the file menu to export, quick export as PNG, which is what we want. And then you can save it to whichever folder you want. We'll do, call this blue floral mama and hit save. And then that will be wherever you save it and you can take it from there and use it for your t-shirt designs, tote bag designs, whatever it is you want to print on. And there you have it. You now know how to create your own text designs with patterned overlays. Let me know in the comments if you try this process for yourself or if there are any other tutorial ideas you'd like to see on my channel. And if you're looking for inspiration on the most profitable niches for your print on demand shop, check out this video next. Thanks for watching.